Hi everyone, my name is Cheyenne Barr and I'm on a mission to help people become better learners. Today I'm discussing metacognition. It's a very short video just looking at how we define metacognition as a starting point. Um, I will be drawing on a presentation that I gave um, at a school a few days ago uh, and I hope it will serve you well. Okay, so, so these were the learning intentions that I ran for the presentation that I did a few days ago. Um, you can see here that we're just focusing on the first element, which is define, and that's what I'm going to take you through today. So defining metacognition. Um, often what I hear is that metacognition is thinking about thinking. And in some respect, it absolutely is. But I think that can be quite a limited definition. And so what I wanted to share with you was a couple of definitions that come from research literature over the last 30 or so years. Um, that we can draw on to build a deeper understanding of what metacognition is. So the first one here is the knowledge and control children have over their own thinking and learning processes, or learning activities, sorry. Knowledge and control, their own thinking. So knowledge and control, that's important to keep in mind. The next one here, awareness of one's own thinking, awareness of the content of one's conceptions, and active monitoring of one's cognitive processes and attempt to regulate one's cognitive processes in relationship to further learning. So again, I've highlighted some key words in that, that definition. We've got awareness, so this, this sort of idea of thinking, of one's own thinking, so self-awareness, and this idea of sort of active monitoring and attempt to regulate. Now to clarify, an attempt to regulate means that we're changing it for whatever reason. So we have to be aware of our cognition and then we need to be able to change it, to regulate it. That's what is starting to come through with these two definitions. Another one here, awareness and management of one's own thought. The monitoring and control of thought. And there's that word sort of control uh, coming in for the second time here because control means that we're aware of it and we can change it, isn't it? In this, in this case, it's quite similar to regulate. This is probably one of the, the most common definitions that I, I seem to be seeing in the, in the research, uh, and it's by Anne Brown from 1980 and 1987. So it's, it's a long-standing definition that seems to appear quite often. And Anne Brown defines it as metacognition, as knowledge of cognition and regulation of cognition. So there's two parts, knowledge of cognition and regulation of cognition. What I think is that as we've learned more about motivational science, motivational science has led to motivation being part of this. And so I actually view the definition being about motivation and cognition. So it's knowledge of motivation and cognition and regulation of motivation and cognition. Let me explain it a little bit further. So we can think of metacognition as as mission control okay it's kind of mission control for our thought processes and you can see here in this picture of mission control there's quite a number of people manning the desks the way i explain that to teachers is that you know a student or an, a, a learner who has high metacognitive ability would have a number of staff behind these desks they're watching the data that's coming up, the thought processes, the thinking that's happening. Let's say the computer screens are spitting out that, that data on the thinking processes. There's, there's someone watching that, isn't it? And that's what metacognition is. It's that ability to watch um, those thinking processes. Okay, so someone with high metacognitive ability could have a lot of staff and perhaps someone with low cognitive and uh, metacognitive ability might not have that many staff at all. Um, meaning that although there's still a, a lot of thinking happening, there isn't a great deal of awareness of what's actually happening. That brings us to the end of this video module on metacognition. I hope that you have some clarity around the definition of metacognition and it's moved your um, understanding beyond metacognition being thinking about thinking. Perhaps you agree with me, it's knowledge of motivation and cognition and regulation of motivation and cognition. I hope it serves you well and looking forward to speaking again soon. All the best.